address each one out this morning. Uh, I know I'm having difficulty with my hearing this morning, so I hope it don't affect my talking too much. But anyway, I'm not going to keep you over an hour and a half anyway. So, <laughs> oh man, it's good to be back in the house of the Lord. We want to try to study some this morning in the book of John. If you would turn your Bibles to the book of John in the 13th chapter, in verse 37. 13, 37. Yeah, that's one. Here we are, we're going to, to be <coughs> discussing today Peter and the things that <clears throat> that beset him, the things that he uh, had to go through. Uh, he had a he had a rough rough time of it uh, because of all the things that he had to go through with, but he and sometimes he tried to do things that uh, he thought was pleasing to the Lord and they wasn't uh, mm -hmm. because the Lord the Lord rebuked him for it. Uh, but he he always come back, and, and we'll see this in the scripture this morning, he always come back and said, Lord, thou knowest all mm -hmm. about me. And uh, the Lord said, uh, all is well, you know. So this is the thing we're going to try. We've got a couple, three places that we want to read. Uh, but anyway, in, in verse 37, or let's just go in 36. Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whether goest thou? And of course, Jesus, back in the other verses, has said that uh, he was uh, little children, yet a little while, and I am with you, yet you seek me. And as I said unto the Jews, whether I go, you cannot go. So we see here that Simon Peter said unto him, Lord, whether goest thou? Mm -hmm. And uh, Peter was not clear on the situation, but Jesus answered him, whether I go, thou cannot follow me now, but thou shalt follow me afterwards. <clears throat> Peter said unto him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? I will lay down my life for thy sake. Jesus answered him, Wilt thou lay down thy life for my sake? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, The cock shall not crow till thou hast denied me thrice. Amen. Now this is familiar uh, scripture with everybody and we know what uh, what the, the conversation is all about but I would like to ask you something this morning and see if uh, I mean uh, I, I just just want to go study a little bit but he said to, to Peter whether I go thou cannot follow me now and I thought about you know, to death. But if you read some of the uh, scriptures or the re uh, the references to Peter, how he died, John wrote a letter, supposedly, uh, 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 telling the story of Peter when he was when he was dying, and Peter refused to be crucified like the Lord Jesus. And he, so the, so the story goes, and, 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 and there is maybe some problem with the, the space of time when John wrote that, and I, I have no idea, but I'm just putting this out for you to consider and think about. But, but Peter refused to be crucified upside down. And so John wrote a letter, and, and uh, I, I never had seen that, anything of it, but some of the uh, writers and all says that he wrote a letter that that Peter was crucified upside down because and he wanted to be he didn't want to be like Christ so he was crucified upside down and this this come into my mind whether I go thou cannot follow me now right and of course that I mean he, he Peter uh, Jesus was going to the cross Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway, just it's just a food for thought this morning. But anyway, Peter said unto him, Lord, why cannot I follow thee now? I will lay down my life for thee. So we see here that 
that Jesus telling Peter this morning that he was going to deny him three times. And so we want to, we want to look again this morning in the uh, 18, I believe it is, 1815. John 18, 15. <clears throat> and Simon Peter, following Jesus, and so did another disciple. That disciple was known unto the high priest and went in with Jesus into the palace of the high priest. But Peter stood at the door without then went out the other disciple, and this other disciple, according to what I understand, was John, right. which was known unto the high priest, and spake unto her that kept the door, and brought in Peter. Now, we see here that, that uh, uh, they, were, they were there about the door, and John had went in with Jesus, and then for, for some reason, he, he realized Peter's not in here. And so he goes back to the door and asks about John, about Peter. And he says here in verse 17, Then said the damsel that kept the door unto Peter, Art not thou also one of this man's disciples? And he says, I am not. Now remember these, these denials because... Jesus had already foretold uh, Peter that you're going to deny me three times. Right. And so we see here, this is the first time that Peter uh, did this. But when you get to thinking about this, you think about over in 1810, uh, I believe it is. I want to sh sh show you something here. Uh, when they come to get Jesus, uh, then Simon Peter, of course, here I, I, I'm, I'm jumping a little bit ahead of myself, but it's, uh, they come to get Jesus. Look at verse 6. They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said unto them, I am he. And Judas also, which betrayed him, stood with him. And this is where the Judas uh, betrayed Christ with a kiss. Because he told them in, a, in a, one of the other books, whoever I kiss, that's the, that's the one that you're coming after. So in this, the, the, the uh, uh, Bible indicated some that uh, this, this, this thing that Judas did here, well, John kind of thought about it when Peter had did what he did. But anyway... Uh, and then in verse 6, as then as he had said unto them, I am he, they, they went backward and fell to the ground. Then asked he them again, what, whom seek ye? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. If therefore you seek me, let these others go, that the same might be fulfilled which he spake of them which thou givest me, I lost none. And there's several places in, in the scripture here where that uh, it tells about these sayings might be, must, might be fulfilled and showing you how much uh, aware of the fact that Jesus was that when he come to this earth, he knew everything that was going to happen right. before, uh, before it happened because he and God had talked it over and he told him what was going to happen. But then he says in verse 9 that, that the same might be fulfilled, and I never read it. Then in verse 10, then Simon Peter, having a sword, drew it and smote the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. Now, I wanted to read this to you because do you see the change in Peter mm -hmm. from the time that he was there facing that crowd? I mean... Hey, there wasn't a scared bone in his body, according to what I understand here. And he, he had that sword. Mm -hmm. Now listen, when that damsel asked him if he was, he still had the sword. And so he, according to all I understand reading search, 
He never, he always kept that sword because, I mean, it was just something that he carried. But anyway, he said here, uh, having a sword drew in and smote the high priest's servant and cut off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. And then said Jesus unto Peter, put up thy sword into thy sheath. The cup which my father hath given me shall I not drink. Right. This again was something that Jesus told Peter about that would hinder him from obeying his father. And so this was something that Peter really and truly did it earnestly, not for not for the honor and glory, but because he loved the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus tells him this this kind of uh, as a uh, uh, as a warning, and Peter didn't understand what he was talking about. But now we see here in uh, uh, fifteen. 1815, and Simon Peter followed Jesus, and so did another disciple. That disciple was known unto the high priest and went in with Jesus into the palace of the high priest. But Peter stood by at the door without. Then went out the that other disciple, John, which was known unto the high priest, and spake unto her that kept the door and, and brought in Peter. So here, here he comes in and listen, people, he's still got the sword. And he had the intent to use it there in the garden when, when, when they were uh, trying to uh, arrest Jesus. And he's still here, but he says it, it's altogether a different situation here now. So, so here, uh, then said the damsel, and this was a, 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 I think they called it a, a servant girl. Then said the damsel that kept the door unto Peter, art thou also one of this man's disciples? He said, I am not. <laughs> now, again, you see the change in Peter and you remember what Jesus told me, you're going to deny me thrice. Right. Now, uh, I don't know how to explain the whole thing, but I know that we'll see here in just a few minutes that everything was all right with Peter when Jesus died on the cross. So now, and the servant of, and, and verse 18, and the servant and officer stood there who had made a fire of coal, for it was coal, and they warmed themselves. And Peter stood with them and warmed himself. And I've heard, I've heard a message or two about Peter warming with his, with his enemies. Uh, but anyway, that's another time. And the, uh, uh, in verse 18, and the servants and the officers stood there who had made it far, for it was cold, and the way they warmed themselves, and Peter stood with them. So now I want you to see this this morning, if I can get to it, and, 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 and 21 and, and 21, I want to see, I want you to see the end results of all. Well, let me let me read one more thing, and I'll, I'll get back with you because I, I hadn't read it all uh, to to show my point here but notice in uh in this in this sir in this in this capture here and what we were talking about and when in verse 22 and when he had thus spoken he's talking to these officers and to and was struck which struck by stood by struck jesus with his palm of his hand saying answerest thou the high priest so and Jesus answered him, If I have spoken evil, bearing witness of the evil, but if well, why smitest me? Amen. And Annas had sent him bound unto Cephas, the high priest. And Simeon, Simon Peter, stood and warmed himself. They said therefore unto him, Art not thou also one of his disciples? And he denied it and said, I am not. Mm -hmm. So that fulfilled 
the three times that Peter would deny the Lord, and Jesus had Jesus had told him, "You're going to deny me three times." Right. So there had to be there had to be something more to this than this. So uh, one of the one of the in verse twenty six, one of the servants of the high priest, being his kinsman, whose ear Peter cut off, said, "Did not I see thee in the garden with him?" Peter then denied again, and immediately the cock crowed. Amen. And so uh, this is this is what what we see so far. Now I want to, I want to talk to you just a little bit this morning on this. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, no, John twenty one fifteen. I believe it was twenty one fifteen. Yeah. John 21 15 so when they had dined this is this is the supper after the resurrection of Christ and uh, Judas has already went and hanged himself and uh, he partook of the, the sop and, and went out and hung himself so when they had dined Jesus said unto Simon Peter Simon son of Jonah Lovest thou me more than these? Now, these, I think, uh, where I read uh, in some references at all, are the disciples of Jesus. Uh, and, and he said, Lovest thou me more than these? And, and, and I read over here in another place where that when Jesus, when Jesus come up, uh, when they come up on Jesus standing on the bank and they were, they were fishing and he told them bring the fish in, that they had fish laying there on the bank, but there was fish on the fire. Mm -hmm. And uh, I thought, well, maybe he's talking about the fish that, that Peter laid up on there, but it, 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 it won't work. So he's talking this morning about the disciples that are he, uh, before right. him because listen lovest thou me more than these the disciples he said unto them yea lord thou knowest that i love thee and he said unto him feed my lambs Amen. now the lamb the lamb is the smaller the weaker younger ones and he said to him again the second time simon son of jonas lovest thou me and he said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. And he said unto him, Feed my sheep. Amen. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time. And the third time is the t that many times that Peter denied the Christ and we thank here that this was one of the reasons why that he asked him three times to remind him of it mm -hmm. and the other disciples that were there heard this and, and, and John knew it. John knew what Peter had done and so he said it for John's benefit because uh, I know John wrote some, some Bible after that uh, Peter had done died. So uh, then, and then I won't see something else. And I, I he said, my, okay. In verse 17, he said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonah, lovest thou me? And Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, Thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. And Jesus said unto him, Feed my sheep. Amen. So this last time that Peter was grieved shows how much more closer he was to the Lord and that he was getting the message that the Lord Jesus was, why he was asking him these things. And it just tore Peter's heart to pieces. Mm -hmm. And he said, Lord, thou knowest, thou knowest me. Thou knowest, 
you I, you know my heart, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, so this is this is some of the things that I got out of these uh, things that happened to Peter here. Then in verse eighteen, verily, verily, I say unto thee, when thou was young, thou girded thyself and walketh whether thou wouldest. But when thou shalt be old, thou shalt stretch forth thy hands, and another shall girt thee and carry thee whether thou wouldst not. Right. This spake he signifying by what death he should glorify God. And when he had spoken this, he said unto him, Follow me. And so here again we see that 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 John wrote this uh, this letter, and that Peter uh, he wrote it, and and, and probably after Peter, after Peter's death, and so all of this that that is here is is witnessed by John, and there was there's no there's no ifs and ands about what went on that night as the crowd come and as peter did his thing and uh all the things that went on in that in that thing so uh i want you to see then peter turning about seeing the disciple whom jesus loved <laughs> john following which also leaned on his breast at supper and said lord which is he that betrayeth thee peter seeing him said to Jesus, Lord, and what shall this man do? Jesus said unto him, If I will that he tarry till I come, what is these? What is that to thee? Follow thou me. And so uh, Peter was more, he was thinking more about what other people were doing, and I don't know if he had it in his mind to try to correct these things because he knew he had been in these things. But then went this saying abroad among the brethren that 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 disciple should not die. Yet Jesus said not unto him, He shall not die, but if I will that he tarries or waits till I come. What is that to be? Right. <laughs> so this is the parable which testifies of these things and wrote these things and we know that his testimony is true. And there are so many other things which Jesus did, the which if they were, were should be written, everyone, I suppose, that even the world itself could not contain the books that should be written. Amen. Amen. So this is the lesson this morning. I hope that it's give you a, a, a desire to study some and to uh, look through the scriptures for things. But it's a lot of it there. It's a lot of it there. If we just can uh, be in the will of the Lord and He'll show it to us. That's that's it. Thank Amen. you all so much. Amen.